Hello there, friends. Happy Monday. Uh, today it was significantly better than yesterday. Uh, yesterday I was, if you recall, very sick and very unattractive. <laughs> um, but today I actually got a lot done. I took a shower, which helped a lot. I'm still feeling kind of ill, um, but I got medicine. So I'm feeling less congested, and that is always a good thing. Um, today I went to the city center. I was going to try to find this Polish restaurant that I've been trying to find forever, but for some reason, ugh, the Brit the British needed a bank holiday today. I don't know why, to be honest. Um, I think they just were like, I need a holiday, and then they made one. Um, but... Uh, for that reason, the restaurant I wanted to go to was closed. But um, after my train was delayed, like 15 minutes, I met Allison at the station, and uh, we both went to this place. Um, I think it was called Jamie's Italian? Jaime? I might be wrong. I might be wrong. But I think, it, actually, I think it was Jamie Oliver. Is he... I feel like he's a famous person, like a chef or a, obviously he's a chef, but like a TV chef or like someone who has a TV show or something like that. Um, and so the food there was really good. It was like not too filling and it was kind of expensive to be honest, but um, I felt fulfilled by it anyway. Um, and then we got some gelato and sit outside in the sun. It was 75 degrees Fahrenheit today. Oh my goodness. I went outside without a coat. I was too hot. I was sweating and not because I was like walking too much, just because I was outside. I know, I know, I know. Um, so that happened. Uh, and then I came home and I made, you know, some dinner. I've been, um, looking for a show that I can like absentmindedly like listen to in the back of my head while I pack. So I've been watching uh, Good Mythical Morning. I used to watch it all the time and now I'm starting to watch from season three. Actually, no, I think I started over at season one even though I've seen some of them. Um, that's a Rhett and Link show and that's pretty cool. Um, so that's that's good for me because while I pack I can just like listen and I don't have to you know, observe with my eyeballs. I can use my vision to appropriately place things. Um, so, uh, where is it? As you can see, this is my suitcase. It looks like it's done being packed. Unfortunately, I still need some items to live. So I'm trying to, like, keep out, like, the items I'm keeping out are mostly things that can go in my backpack. Um, I do have a little bit of laundry to do, so I will be doing that, uh, at some point, uh, I'm going to probably just do it all at once because I have to wash uh, my blanket and my pillowcases and my towels because I'm going to be giving those to my roommates uh, when I leave. So, I, I mean, I don't want to give them dirty towels. I mean, yuck. Uh, so, really, I, I packed it and then it was 54 pounds and I was like, oh dear. And then I took out, um, you know, I moved a notebook, a heavy leather notebook to my backpack and, you know, three shirts to my backpack. And now it's at, I think, three pounds under 50 or 47. Yeah, 47. Um, so I just have to be really careful. I'm kind of afraid that I'm going to have to um, leave behind a pair of jeans or pants of some kind. And I'm kind of not excited about that because, I, I mean, I paid for them, but, I mean... What can you do, I guess? Um, there's one pair that hurts me. I'm not sure if it hurts me because, it, you know, it's painful or if it's just because I haven't been washing it correctly. Um, but other than that, I mean, I went to, the, when I was in the city center today, I bought this book, um, which I haven't read yet. I'm really excited about it. Uh, it's The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I really 
I really am excited to read it. I, I wanted to read it so much, I needed it in paperback form. I do have a nook that I usually read books on, you know, ebooks, but I have, I just wanted that one in print. I wanted to hold it, I wanted to be friends with it, um, and I, I just wanted it to be my friend. And so, basically, all I have left to pack, I, uh, my, I have some clothes, you know, like under things and socks, and maybe a pair of, je of pants, I don't know, it depends what's going to happen with the weight limit. Um, I have to pack my laptop in my backpack. I have, I mean, pretty much everything I think can go in my backpack, everything I, in my line of sight. Um, I have my ukulele case right there. Where is it? Where is it? Right there. There it is. Um, I'm going to try to put some, like, paper stuff in there so that, um, you know, it, it'll be a little bit of space because that's obviously... It's carry-on. That doesn't have to be under 50 pounds, but God forbid if my ukulele case is over 50 pounds. Heavens to Betsy. Um, so yeah, I'm getting pretty close. Um, tomorrow, I think I'm going to go, I'm going to go for brunch um, at this place called Woodstock. It's supposed to be like kind of a bohemian sandwich place, I guess. Um, and that's pretty cool. I might, uh, I gotta do other things, you know. I might, uh, see if I can just head on over to Harborn, which is a neighborhood that's on the other side of campus, because I've heard they have some cool charity shops. I'm kind of hesitant, because, like, I really want to go there, but I really cannot afford to purchase anything else, unless it's, like, flat and can fit either in my backpack or, uh in my little suitcase. So, um, I'm really nervous that I'm going to have so many things in my little suitcase that, uh, I accidentally crease, uh, one of the items I have. Can you hear that? I've been, like, snapping this. I hope that isn't, like, disturbing, but it's, I'm fidgeting. I'm fidgeting. Uh, that's all I have today. I'm feeling a lot better, and I'm really glad. I think I look better, you know. My hair is doing what I asked it to. I'm wearing a Reptar shirt today. At the Gelato place, um, the lady told me that she loved my shirt. She said top, because I guess shirt is not an appropriate... It's so glorious that it's a top instead of a shirt. You know, I mean, we all have those days, really, when we're just so glorious and shiny, and we wear tops. Um... So yeah, I'm going to try to downsize. Uh, in summary, I'm almost finished packing. I leave on Friday, so I have Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday left. Oh my gosh, I'm leaving so soon. Like The weather's just getting really beautiful, and I know when I go home, my hometown has been having a lot of snow recently, and it's friggin' May. So, I mean, they're done with it, and I don't want to deal with it when I go back. But I think it's mostly gone, I think. Um... So hopefully when I come back, I mean, I'm not expecting green grass, certainly. I'm expecting no snow, so, you know, nature, you better get on that. Um, I just can't wait to see my family. I, I really love this place. It's going to be weird because now it's like home. So when I go home, I drop the friggin'... I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm putting it away, so I don't play with it. Um... So, oh my gosh, these vlogs are getting very long. I am going to say goodbye, and um, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for watching my videos throughout this last week. Bye!